Okay, it seems like a good place to do another little video. Um, I got the power supply mounted. Um, here, let me turn it. And the ramps board mounted to the Arduino, mounted to the polycarbonate. This particular uh, mount here looks like it's entirely reversible, but it's not. Um, you want the two holes that are closer together to be towards the outside. Otherwise, you can't get three screws in if you, unless you put them on it upside down. Um, just a little note. Uh, because I've heard people had problems with these ramp boards, I went and I reflowed all the solder joints. Um, hopefully, I won't have any issues. And I went ahead and mounted the heat sinks. And right now, I'm using the drivers that, that they ship. But I actually have uh, 8825s and silent steppers. So I plan on running 8825s uh, for the extruder and for the uh, the up and down access, and I plan on running silent steppers for the bed and the uh, back and forth. Um, so uh, right now I'm getting ready to to wire all the motors together, and uh, I'll bring you back when I get that done. Okay, so I'm going to bring you in here. I have the stepper motors all wired up for the XYZ and extruder. Um, pretty basic, you can't, uh, they only go in one way. You're putting them in here, according to the pictures, green goes towards the left, um, away from the power on all of these. And the only one I kind of left sloppy uh, for now is the uh, extruder, because I don't know quite. Uh, how I'm gonna rig it all up yet. Everything else I just kind of bound up and I'll clean those up later, maybe shorten them. Um, yeah, that, uh, and probably for the, uh, uh, for the Y axis, I'll probably actually take my bundle off and run it down through the frame here. But for now, it looks like it'll work the way it is. So next is to uh, wire up the heat bed. And uh, let's go do that. Okay, so I have the heat bed and the extruder hooked up to the right side. Uh, black wires on top for the heat bed, red wires below. When you plug them in, make sure you don't have any strands going from one side to the other, otherwise, you'll have a short. Uh, the extruder evidently is not polarized, so it doesn't matter which one's which. I just want one, again, going to the positive, one going to the negative. Um, then the uh, uh, the thermistors, the extruder one is all the way to the right on the little block. And next one over is the heat bed thermistor. They're below the leftmost uh, driver board. And there's one extra set of pins, so there should be two mm -hmm. pins to the left. Uh, after this, it's end stops, so I figured I'd come in here. Um, yeah, this is one heck of a mess. Mm. We'll have to figure something out. Okay, so it's actually okay. So it's actually been a couple days since um, I did the first half of the video where I just put in the uh, the heater, where I just wired the heater elements in and the thermistors in. Um, I, I didn't have time. I worked really late into the night getting a lot of things set up and going. And uh, I just didn't have time. So I'll go over where the rest of the wiring on my extra ramps board, rather than, I still haven't cleaned up that wiring, showing you things. So I'm gonna refer here where I'm looking at it, and then I'll show you on this particular board um, where things get plugged in. A um, Couple notes, um, I, mine is a tiny bit different. Um, I moved my one stop over to, uh, uh, the, on the x-axis to the left side here instead of the right, and I found that if I mounted this uh, bracket in this fashion here, I could actuate it no problem. I am running into a bit of, of an issue with the, um, uh, what was it, the y, no, uh, X, y, the z-axis. Um, it seems to have to push down pretty far to hit this, so I might have to 
attach something to the bottom here in order for it to actuate the stop the end stop here. But let's go back to the wiring. So my end stops are in. I have one back here, one over here, one over here. Um, the end stops all wire into the ramps board um, on this section right here. And the pins they connect to um, are alternate because there's a min and a max one. And, and this right here is all uh, mins, I believe. Yeah, all mins. So um, I have it set to be, let me double check my board. Yeah, it's every other one. So it starts off with one on the right, mm -hmm. then skips one, the third one in, skips one, and the fifth one in. So that gives you your end stops. Um, and uh, I'm going to bring up the manual real quick. Okay. So the X end stop goes to the first set of pins, then the Y end stop is the third, and the Z end stop goes to the fifth. And it skips them. Uh, there's one in between. So if you had the maximum, if you wanted, I guess, make it extra safe and not use soft end stops, which is the way it's configured on my setup, then you could actually put end stops on both sides, top and bottom, front and back. But like I said, I don't have those. Um, the driver boards, and I, I swapped out one of my driver boards with uh, an 8825 instead of the 4498 um, drivers. And when you're installing the driver boards on the 4498, the, uh, the, uh, the adjuster, the point, uh, point meter, goes away from the power connector. And on the 8825s, it goes towards. You don't want to mess that up. I guess it's, it's bad if you mess it up. Um, and when you're using the 8825s, you leave the jumpers exactly the same and jump all three of these. And that will give you the uh, the 32 times stepping on the 8825s. Um, the other alternate, the difference between the 8825 and the uh, uh, the nine, the other one, <laughs> is that um, the direction you turn it, to turn the uh, 8825 down, you go clockwise, and to turn the uh, the ones that come with it down you turn it counterclockwise so and when you're doing it they, they're nice they give you a non-magnetic screwdriver and you can put it in and adjust it um, the fan gets wired directly into the power supply so you got to solder up a cable because the cable they give you is way too short uh, the heating element I don't know if I did that in the last one I, I did do that in the last one so I won't cover it again um, I wired up the LCD and that fits on these set of pins on the end and the top. So it, uh, and if on that, when I first got it to work, all I got was squares across my LCD panel. It's because one of my pins was bent. And when I pushed down, I didn't notice it because it's kind of cramped in there um, and it didn't work. So once I moved the, uh, the pin into the correct, location and put it back on, everything worked again, which is great. Um, one issue I am having is that the, um, I thought I might have stripped one of these screws out on the extruder, um, and so I emailed uh, for replacement um, stepper motor, because I saw I stripped out the stepper motor, um, and replacement screws, because I couldn't find the screws on their website, I could only find the stepper motor, and they said that they had shipped out some with two short screws, um, so they're going to hopefully send me some new ones. I'm um, going back and forth with them right now. The other thing I did was I complained about the uh, the tension on here and uh, what I ended up doing was I forgot all about these little springs and I yeah, didn't have them plugged in. So, or on here. Once I put the spring on, I got good tension. On all, and I didn't put them on the bottom. I had that tension pretty good from the get-go. And after that, it's after that software. Um, I'm using the latest release candidate of Marlin uh, RC3 at the time. Um, with uh, and I went through the configuration file that they give you um, from Folder Tech and migrated my 
the configuration changes in there, here. And I've made some changes to that. Um, let me power it up. And I'm using my computer even though I have the LCD. bring up the software. I'm using Print Run Mac 5.6, which I guess is very old. There's on the Windows and Linux platform is way newer. And if I don't see them come out with something newer, I will probably um, run a Windows or Linux instance inside here in a virtual machine. Um, I've done that before for work and I know so it's not a big deal for me. Uh, the other software you can use to control it, which I am not using what I have installed, I have Cura installed. Um, Repetier host. Um, and I just installed Craftware. And, uh, but I haven't tried it out yet. So, those are the software packages I have. I'm going to use uh, Print uh, print Run. Actually, no, Print Run is not the, it's, it's Repetier host. That's a really old version. And it's nice because it has a slicer and all that built right into it. But you can't add other slicers like Cura. You should be able to add that, and I can't. So, um, we're going to go ahead and connect to it. And I'm already configured to pick the right port and 250,000 baud rate. And I can test my connection by going down. And I'm still trying to tune my Z axis with these new steppers. I changed the speed, number of steps. Because when I did the homing action, it was going way too fast, and then the skipper, the steppers were skipping steps. Um, so let me hit a home, which is going to move things around pretty quickly. Or, that's right, I slowed these down too. I thought they were moving too fast. And let me bring this up. I slowed down, like I said, the z-axis a lot. And it seems like these uh, screws could use a bit of truing. So I will probably do that myself before until I reconfigure this thing to run with lead screws. This will take a, a minute. this wire behind because it, it's in the way here. So it's about to actuate the switch here. I have this in here as a spacer. So here's where I need to adjust it a bit. So, But right now it's, I can move the paper or this cardboard. This is the cardboard they gave me with the uh, screwdriver I'm using as a spacer. Um, I have a, a mill plate I'm going to pick up tomorrow to go on top of my heat uh, plate here. So I'll have to adjust it again after that. Um, but uh, once I have it, I'm going to move it up, the Z axis. And with the soft stops in place, I can't go any more to the right. The soft stops are stopping it. And it puts it right on the line on the heat uh, on the heat plate. Same thing if I go forward. I can't go any further forward, and it's about right to the line in the back. So I'm going to move these centered, and it's pretty close to the the center of the dot there. It's a little bit, maybe a half a millimeter to the left of the dot. But, uh, yeah. So this is really the build. And I, yeah, um, the configuration videos on these, there's some people who did way better jobs, but I was trying to do this video as from perspective of, of somebody who's never set up a 3D printer before. Um, I've never built one, this is my first one. And I've done test runs um, with the three, with the, one of the options is to, um, 
I'm trying to think of which software it was in. I don't think it was in this one. Let me go over to uh, Yeah, so I'm going to load up a G-code for a 25 millimeter cube and connect to the printer and I'm connected and I'm going to run um, a dry run which means it's not going to extrude anything. I'm going to put down the cardboard here. So if I do a dry run and I hit print then it will uh, It'll run through the job. We're going to home. So here's one. Yeah, I have to adjust. I still have to adjust these my Z axis because I'm not down all the way. When it tries to go too fast, I don't have enough power. So right now it's doing it in the air quite a bit. That wouldn't stick very well. And I think I need to adjust the speed here because this is pretty slow. So like I said, I'm still experimenting with the software, I'm still learning. Um, and there's other people who have really good videos on configuring these. Like uh, making sure when you move over 10, it's actually, you know, 10 millimeters. So I do, I, I'm going through that stages right now. I'm hoping to be able to print my first print in the next couple days. And uh, when I do, I will uh, I'll record it. So I'm going to shut this down. stopped. So yeah, this is the basic assembly, like I said, for somebody who hasn't built one and is probably in the same boat as me as somebody who has never built a 3D printer. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is me building it. Um, I, I, uh, yeah, I don't claim to be an expert and there are people who are who have posted videos, but you know, I figured a lot of people would be like me and not experts. And uh, perhaps seeing a non expert do it. Um, could be useful. So, so in a couple of days, I'll, I'll I'll get the uh, the first print done, and hopefully, I'll get a video up a couple of days after that um, of that first print turning into a glob of goop, which is what I expect. But uh, yeah, but it's been fun to build. So, I'm gonna sign off. So until next time, thanks for watching.